Get ready for the hustle. Get ready. Get ready for the fame. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. No one can stop me. I'm on the rise. Reaching new heights. Touching the sky. No one can stop me. My voice will be heard. No mountain too high. No challenge absurd. No one can stop Good me. Stop the front court down the lane. Shot off the glass. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. 35. Get ready. Boyd Payton three, puts it up. Boyd yeah. Central leads by three. That's, that's a hard trick down here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. People pumped up. This great championship trophy goes to Boyd Central. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Intermountain Sports Network. This is Larry Cecil along with Justin Holbrook. We got uh, Burt Garner down on the uh, uh, playing surface uh, via interviewing some coaches, and then he'll join us in the booth. And we're here at second night of the boys' 15th region tournament coming to you from the Appalachian Wireless Arena. And had two dandies last night, especially that last one, Betsy Lane and uh, Martin County. Expect the same here tonight, Justin. You got McGoffin County and Floyd Central in the the opener and then in the nightcap tonight we've got uh pike county central and johnson central yeah i think this game right here on you know leading into it i i would imagine that this was probably going to be the best uh match of floyd central and mcgolfin county and you know hopefully it lives up to the hype that it was last night um, they played earlier at mcgolfin county that's probably about a month ago and floyd central with, without uh braden moore and I think McGoffin County, I think it was a 12-point win Four, at 14, home. 14, 14 yeah. points at home. And it was a pretty good game. And, you know, you got uh, a lot of star power out here uh, between Moore, Sammons, Barnett, and uh, Whitaker. So uh, I expect a good one, uh, good atmosphere. People still piling into the arena. It's going to be a good night. Boy, I tell you, it was a lecture here uh, last night. Uh, uh, especially when uh, Tanner Martin from Bessie Lane went uh, uh, man mode or beast mode or whatever and throw yes. that dunk down. And that's going to be a tough play to beat for the uh, play of the tournament. I, I've watched it uh, a couple times today back on the WPRG Facebook. I mean, I, I just can't believe. I mean, it, I'm still in awe, really. Yes. I mean, because he, he, he's not a tall feller. Oh, I understand, and yeah. he got up. And he we've was... covered him several times through the season and never did see that out no. of him. I don't know where that came from. Might eat Cheerios or <laughs> might have got him some spinach yeah. like Popeye and eat before the game. Yeah. But now he used it. But, uh, Burke, uh, down on the floor, uh, see if you can uh, come up with the coaches and get us a couple good interviews. Yes. Uh, can, I bought, can I get Coach Moore here for a second? Thank you. Or WPRG, uh, talk to me about this game tonight. What your uh, team's feeling like coming into it? Oh, it, it should be a great game tonight. Uh, we we had a we played them earlier in the season. They they gave us a pretty good whipping, but uh, you know we had some injuries at that time. And we're back to healthy and we're playing pretty good. So it should be a really good game tonight. Uh, team's pretty excited, I'd imagine. First time playing on this floor in this uh, in this uh, setting in a long time. Oh, listen. I hope the first quarter goes okay because I've never been here before. You know, uh, I, I want them to get the butterflies out and get the game going and go from there. So I'm, I'm kind of nervous how the game starts. Well, Coach, best of luck, and we'll talk to you in a little bit. Guys, let me grab uh, Coach Castle here. Uh, he went over here. He's in the bleachers right here. He's kind of okay. the, yeah, he, right he's, there he's, by the fan he, in the stand right now. Yeah, he's, right. he's politicking <laughs> a little bit there. I might be able to. Hey, Coach, can I, can I get a little bit of your time here? PRG, uh, talk to me about your thoughts going into this one tonight. Well, we've got a tough, a tough contest with uh, Floyd Central. You know, I think uh, Floyd Central probably playing as good as anybody in the region, um, you know, finish out the season to win their district. So uh, we've got our work cut out for us. Team, we're pretty excited. I mean, it's been a long time since it's been in this situation, right? Uh, it's been way too long. Uh, you know, I think this is six years for me as a voice head coach, and, you know, uh, uh, people don't realize how tough that 57th district is. So, uh, you know, we're, we're excited to be here. Uh, kids are excited. Uh, just hope that we come out and, 
and play like we're capable. Best of luck tonight, Coach. All right, thank you. All right, guys, back up to you all. All right, thank you, Bert. And sound like uh, both coaches, uh, uh, you know, they, it's not just like you said, not been too long ago since they faced off, and uh, yeah. and they're, they're trying to uh, get over yeah. to their team. Of course, you're uh, dealing with uh, young kids and stuff. Sometimes it's uh, uh, hard to uh, get that. Uh, in their head, you know, what they face, uh, Joseph. Yeah, it, you know, when, you're, when your livelihood and things are uh, hinging on 15 to 18 year old kids, it, you never know what you're gonna get. And I, I think Coach Moore hit it right on the head there. The, the first quarter, I mean, and you know, McGoffin County's not been here in a while, Floyd Central's not been here in a while. I'm not sure, uh, but I know the Floyd Central kids, none of the kids on the floor have ever been here, played right. in this gym. And, you know, Barnett being a senior, I really don't think that they have either. Well, and I don't think so. Uh, coach, uh, he said he'd been head coach six years, and the way he talked, it might have been his first trip here. Yeah. I think when he coached the McGoffin County girls, they might have played here. Yes, uh, yeah. But, but not uh, uh, since he's been the head coach of the boys. Yeah, and, you know, it, it's going to be interesting because we watched uh, a couple of different teams come out uh, a little cold. Uh, Floyd Central girls, I mean, they, they couldn't – uh, they didn't shoot very well, and Lawrence County came out last night, had 22 points at halftime. Yes. Ended the game in the 60s, but, you know, it, it, like Coach Moore said, I think that first quarter, you kind of hope you can just kind of stay the course and right. not, you know, hope the other team's not going to blow you out in the first quarter. Well, and, and the thing that they've got to go into them, if you could say it's their advantage, both teams is in the same situation. Yeah. You know, yes. no nobody on the floor <clears throat> on either team, these players, has ever played here in the uh, arena, so uh, it's going to be an experience for both of them. Yeah. It's, that's an interesting matchup because of that. You got two teams that are kind of in the same position. Yeah, and this floor, you know, we've mentioned it a couple of times, but the floor is, is it's longer, it's wider. Yes. I mean, it, the, mm -hmm. and you know, it, it's going to play a factor tonight. I mean, if the if you play a zone, you know, you got to stretch that thing out a little bit. Right. If you try to play a half court trap. I mean, that's a whole different world trying to do a half-court trap on this floor versus your high school floor. Of course, uh, you know, the three-point line's the same, but you've got yeah. more space behind that three-point line on the base, I mean, on the uh, yeah. sidelines. Uh, yeah, and I think a lot of times, too, here, you've got that college three-point line out there, too, and it kind of makes those kids think a little bit more about that. You know, I'm going to shoot it behind that line. You know what I mean? It gives you a little bit right. more of a depth perception. You know what I mean? You can see that you're shooting it a little bit deeper than maybe you think you're shooting it. And, and this end, too, you've got the backdrop, you know, yeah. with no stands, and that makes a difference sometimes for the shooters. It does. Well, the rims, they, they some soft rims. Oh, we've yeah. seen some, uh, some three-point shots that yeah. just uh, bounced around on the rim and went through or, or come off, but uh, it'll be interesting to see and uh, very exciting. Uh, uh, these uh, teams, uh, Johnson Central, uh, later in the uh, uh, tonight in the second game, uh, you can say they're a byproduct of the yeah. uh, Super Region because they got beat out the, their first night, and Betsy Lane was the same way last night uh, for the 58th, uh, 57th, 58th, both getting three teams in from the boys' side, and. That's the first time that that's ever happened in the region. Yeah, and I hope they give us the same kind of game that um, Betsy Lane did last night. Yes. And before we uh, go any further, I'd like to remind everyone again tonight that uh, there will be a $25 Walmart gift card given away each game. There will be a 4K fire stick given away each night. Uh, you have to uh, like and share with your Facebook friends on our feed. Uh, to be eligible for that uh, giveaway, either one of them. And also, what time you're uh, sharing with your friends, just go ahead and have them to like and share with theirs and get us a good audience. It ought to be an exciting game here tonight as uh, the arena's starting to fill up on both sides. Uh, we've got the bands here tonight and a lot of excitement going on right here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. Yeah, like you said, Larry, I mean, it it's, should be a great matchup because it's two teams that really want to be here. I mean, they've been wanting, they've been fighting for this coming in many years now. This has yeah. been their goal to just get here. And they're here now, so they should, it should be a great game. Yeah, it's going to be a nice, uh, a nice matchup, too. I, I mean, I think uh, I'll be interested to see who matches up with Barnett if you're Floyd Central. 
And if you're McGoffin County, who's going to guard Braden Moore? Because last time you played them, you didn't have Braden Moore. So uh, it, it's going to be interesting. I, both coaches uh, got well coached teams. They got uh, upperclassmen on their team. So I, I hope we get a good one. I think we will. Well, I, and another thing, too, is both teams is coming in on a roll. Uh, Floyd Central, uh, nine and two, their last 11 games, the two losses that they had, they put up. 87 and 89 points, but they give up 99 and 94. So that uh, sh uh, shows you what kind of how their offense is going. McGoffin County on the other side, they come in seven and three in their last 10 games, <coughs> counting the uh, district tournament games. So uh, one's averaging 68 points, other than average 72 points. Uh, look at the uh, records in uh, throughout the season and the scores and a lot of 70s and 80s and yeah. a couple of 90s on there for both teams. So if the nerves uh, gets worked out, uh, like uh, Coach Moore talked about in that first quarter, and these two teams start to click and the uh, fans uh, will yeah. be an entertaining game yeah, it for could the be. fans. We'll yeah. have a fun one. I, I tell you, Brody Buck coming off a really nice district championship game for Floyd Central there. He was all over the place in that district championship game. Yeah. So I'm sure that'll be a big focal point for McGoffin. Yeah, that's going to be a big key tonight, I think, is rebounding. And uh, Dylan Boyd and Brody Buck re rebounded really well there, yes. at, you know, in the district tournament down there. And they're going to have to tonight because McGoffin County's got the uh, Whitaker kid. He's about 6'5", and he works in the paint a lot. So uh, keeping him off the offensive glass is going to be huge tonight. And there might not be very many uh, rebounds to get tonight if these yeah. two teams yeah. shoot the way they're capable of. McGoffin County shoots it at a 50% clip from the field for the season, and Floyd Central shooting at 47%. So uh, they might not be a whole lot of rebounds to take care of. I think you're right. Yeah, it's uh, you know we've I, I've watched Floyd Central play a lot this year, and I mean they they will shoot it within the first five seconds of getting a rebound. Yes. I mean you, yeah. you can make a shot, and they will shoot it within less than ten seconds a lot of the times. They want and, a fast paced yeah. game, and if they're making shots, that's that's tough to handle. Yep. And and, and it doesn't hurt uh, if you're McGoffin County to have the uh, leading scorer in the region play for <laughs> yeah. you at 29 <laughs> points a game yeah. too. So yeah, he's a grown we're man. Go, we're going to send it back to the station. Be back shortly. With some more pregame of tonight's first game in the boys' 15th region tournament. McGoffin County Floyd Central. It ought to be a good one. Tighten no those seatbelts. We're about ready to roll here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena on your Inner Mountain Sports Network. The power of fiber makes your Gearheart fiber bundle even better. Fiber provides the highest bandwidth available to deliver more crystal clear HD, fast, reliable internet and Wi-Fi to power video streaming, gaming, and sharing on every device with no waiting. Plus, E911 secure fusion phone with unlimited local calling and popular features. Build your fiber-powered bundle. Call or visit Gearheart Fiber online to learn more. Forward pay at Appalachian Wireless. Why? How about no credit check, no contracts, and most of the features of postpay? The simple, easy way to stay connected. And right now, get $75 off select forward pay devices. Plans starting as low as $19.95 per month for unlimited talk and text. At 5 gig of data for only $29.99. 10 gig of data for only $39.99. How about unlimited data for only $64.99 per month with 25 gig of high speed data before slowing down? Forward pay because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. See AppalachianWireless.com for terms and conditions. I'm Billy Johnson. I grew up in Eastern Kentucky. This is where I live. I know the people, the roads, and the court systems. I know car wrecks, and I know how to maximize your results. You're as likely to see me on my way to an accident scene with investigators as you are to find me in my office. I do what it takes to get the job done to maximize your results. If you've been injured, call me, Billy Johnson. Make it our fight. Dreaming of watching what you want, when you want, where you want? Stop dreaming and start streaming with Gearheart TV. Watch hundreds of choices on your favorite devices with the power of cloud DVR. Start over and replay TV. Personal profiles with parental controls. Free TV on demand. And TV everywhere to watch on mobile devices from anywhere. Gearheart TV makes your streaming dreams come true at great low rates. Get in touch now to sign up. 
Jennifer Burke Elliott, attorney at law, is here to assist you with all your legal needs. From car wrecks to family law to general wills and deeds, she can help you sort through your legal issues. Jennifer has practiced law for over 30 years and is ready, willing, and able to guide you through the process. Jennifer Burke Elliott is located at 107 South Arnold Avenue in Prestonsburg, Kentucky, inside the historic Harkins Building. Call 886-9937 to set up your appointment. I'm attorney Philip Wheeler. Being injured on the job or in a car wreck is not a laughing matter. Medical bills, lost wages, and being unable to provide for those that you love can cause financial and emotional heartache for families. Let the attorneys at Wheeler & Baker use their 33 years of combined experience to help you in your time of need. Get the law firm that always puts working families first. Hello, I'm Brandon Spencer, candidate for state representative in the 95th District in Floyd and Pike Counties. I want to congratulate all the teams for making it to the tournament. Teamwork is what it will take to win a championship. And teamwork is what I will bring as your next representative by working with Representative Blanton and McCool, along with our great Congressman, Hal Rogers. With your vote and support, our team can change Pike and Floyd counties. I am Brandon Spencer, and I paid for this ad. In 2022, one in 200 Americans found themselves victims to cybercrime. Internet theft and open Wi-Fi networks are one way for criminals to access your personal information and devices. So what can you do to protect yourself? Always use a secure password for your home Wi-Fi network and get Plume Adaptive Wi-Fi from Gearheart Broadband. Starting at just $4.98 per month, you can have a custom Wi-Fi network with built-in security and parental controls. Find out more today at imctv.com slash plume and get protected. My addiction I took me as far as being homeless, not having anything. I was breathing, but I was not living. If you would ask anyone around, they would tell you that they don't know that person from those pictures and active addiction. I'm completely content with my life today. I see happiness. I see the blessings of life. It's a place you know. It's people you trust. It's welcoming, like a friend. It's a place of volunteers. A place of givers. Movers and shakers. Friday night lights and Saturday yard sales. It's the original social network. It's your community, and we're proud to be a part of it. Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. Time out for great food. This season, everyone is stopping at Double Quick for their pregame and postgame snacks, drinks, sandwiches, and dinners. Come on in and grab a bucket of Double Quick chicken with all the sides, a real family meal for on-the-go eating. Then there's everyone's favorite, the famous Double Quick pizza rolls. Buy them one, two, or six at a time. We've got sandwiches galore, your favorite drinks, chips, and snacks, and so much more. Be sure and use your Double Quick rewards card, and good luck to all the teams from the team here at Double Quick. Are you looking to buy or sell a home in Eastern Kentucky? Look no further. When it comes to real estate, there's only one name you need to remember, REMAX Legacy Group. In 2023, we achieved outstanding results. On average, we sold over one house per day. That's right, one house per day. And guess what? According to our local MLS, our listing sold an average of 34 days faster than others. With three offices located in Eastern Kentucky, we proudly serve the entire area. When you see the REMAX sign, make sure it's the Legacy Group. Ashley Tackett Lafferty's record in Frankfurt is proof that we can count on her to defend traditional mountain values in working families. She votes to protect life, strengthen education, support first responders, and protect our Second Amendment. That's why she's been endorsed by teachers, coal miners, police officers, and the NRA. Ashley Tackett Lafferty is our trusted voice in the Kentucky House. Re-elect Ashley Tackett Lafferty. She fights for us. And we're back here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. We got about a minute and a half, Larry. And Burke, we got us a good one brewing, I'm sure. We got us a good one, uh, Justin. I'm excited about this. Uh, yeah. Both crowds are getting into it now. Uh, I think we've got a good one on tap here tonight. Well, the crowd's uh, getting all excited. Uh, I know when we was uh, standing up uh, for the playing of the national anthem, McGoffin County side full on the lower arena. Uh, 
Also, the Floyd Central side. Yeah, it filled in nicely. It sure did. I'd say it'll <coughs> keep going, too. Mm -hmm. Very hear a pin drop over on left Beaver tonight. Yeah. <laughs> no Pro doubt. Probably the same way in Sayersville. Yeah. Yeah, and whichever one of these teams make it to Saturday, you, you talk about really filling it up. They'll yeah. all be in here. Absolutely. Yeah, they'll get the uh, winner of Pot County Central and Johnson Central who plays later tonight. And you know, that's, it's been a couple years since Johnson Central's been here. They uh, used to uh, dominate it. Just pencil them in any time yeah. that uh, you had the 15th region uh, scheduled to play boys or girls. And uh, they kind of dropped off a little bit the last few years, but uh, Coach Tommy McKenzie got a good uh, young team coming back in uh, to play here tonight. And that, that, uh, that'll be contrasting styles that second game. Yes, yes. Yeah. big time. And, you know, freshman, but you can't count Tommy McKenzie out. They're young. Welcome to the Appalachian Wireless Arena for tonight's game. Let's meet our starting lineups from the 57th District, representing the guests on the scoreboard, the McGuffin County Hornets. Starting at guard, a sophomore, number zero, Walker Russell. At guard, a senior, number two, Aiden Barnett. At guard, a senior, number five, Grayson Whitaker. At guard, a senior, number 10, Ethan Salyer. And at forward, a senior, number 14, Zane Whitaker. The Hornets. McGuffin County is led by head coach Scott Castle. Representing the home team on the school board, the champions of the 58th district, the Floyd Central Jaguars. Starting at guard, a senior, number three, Braden Moore. At forward, a sophomore, number 11, Dylan Boyd. At forward, a senior, number 22, Ronnie Simmons. At center, a sophomore, number 24, Chris Spriggs. And at forward, a senior, number 25, Brody Buck. The Jaguars. Floyd Central is led by head coach, Alan Joe Moore. And that's our starting lineup for the first game with Justin. Two senior Latin uh, starting lineups again tonight for these two teams. I think both of them start to four seniors. Yeah, and like Burke said earlier, I mean, they, they've all been chomping at the bit to get here, and now you finally made it. Now you're going to see what you can do with it. Yes. This is it. And the crowd's get, I mean, the, the buzz is palpable in here right now. Brody Buck, Zane Whitaker stepping in to the jump circle. Toss is in the air, and McGoffin County will come up with it. Man-to-man man -man defense for Floyd Central. And there's Barnett down to the lane, puts it up and in, and a one. Uh, what a good start there from McGoffin County. Yeah, that's exactly what they want to see. Brody Buck with the foul. Yeah, both... Um, I, I'm not sure who the second defender was, but Moore, everybody went for that pump fake and gave him the lane. 82% free throw shooter. Drops it in. It's three to nothing. McGoffin County. On the other end, there's Braden Moore with it. Down the lane, shot off the glass and in. No good, or excuse me, uh, up no good by Spriggs. Comes off to McGoffin County. Here's Barnett. Three in the air. That was Whitaker. And stepping on the line, trying to save it in for McGoffin County's Russell. Here to go to Floyd Center. Jennifer Burke Elliott. Yeah, McGoffin County's coming into this with Barnett, arguably the top player in the region. Yeah. Well, he's the leading scorer in the region. So you've got a, a good uh, argument, yeah. argument for that. Floyd Center working in the front court, comes back out on top to Spriggs. Grayson Whitaker guarding him. Spriggs breaks free. 
Gives it back to Simmons. Dylan Boyd, three in the air. Count it, we're tied, and that's a good sign for Floyd Central when that, Dylan Boyd's knocking them down. Yes, it, it is. is. Coach Moore's going to lock that, too. Working inside, Zane Whitaker, and near steal. Whitaker out of the corner puts it up and in. That's Zane Whitaker. And on the other end, Buck beats him down the floor and puts it up and in. Oh, and that's I don't, how it goes. Don't know if uh, <laughs> we've got those nerves or not. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. Uh, corner shot down here for Whitaker must be in a two. They've got only five points on the board for him. And neither of these teams coming out looking like they're nervous right now, at least. Not too nervous. There's a pass tip for Simmons. It's run down by Whitaker. Boyd Central two for three, McGoffin County two for two from the field, so hot start. Here's it Barnett, is. he's out directing traffic. Braden Moore on him. Physical player Barnett is. Yes, and he stops and elbow jumper puts it up and in. Effortless shot. Yeah. It's seven five, McGoffin County. And down the lane, oh, shot up and in, Brody Buck. Buck with four consecutive points. Well, he's coming off that hot district championship. He's really played well recently, Buck. Yes, he has. Well, you know, if, if Buck or Spriggs, one of them's uh, hitting, it just takes pressure off and uh, Braden Moore and Salmon's in a little more. Yeah. Absolutely. It opens their game up some. McGoffin County working in the front court. Zane Whitaker, he's fires a three this time, no good. Dylan Boyd comes off with a rebound. Quickly up court, here's Buck. Takes it down, stops, eight-footer, up good. Brody Buck on a 6-0 run, and he puts his team out on front, 9-7. Here's Bart, uh, Barnett, and yeah. charge call. That's tough. And, <laughs> and, and, and he took a lick to take yeah. that charge, too. Yeah, <laughs> Barnett's a big boy. Braden Moore felt that one, but uh, Braden's got the uh, quickness to be yeah. able to stay Beat in front of spot. Yeah. Right, yeah. Barnett laid some hits like that on the football field this past fall, too. Yeah. Well, you can tell it. 9-7, Floyd Central with the lead. They got the basketball. Here's Boyd with it in the front court. Comes over to Buck. Buck scored the last six points. Dylan Boyd working down low. Buck again, and Ooh. in and out. And rebound, Dylan Boyd, his shot's blocked. Whitaker comes off with the rebound. Nice rebound by Whitaker. Here's Arnett with it into the front court. Over into the corner. Uh, that's number five. That's Grayson Whitaker. Salyer steps out now on top of the circle with it. There's Russell driving the baseline. Kicks it in the corner. Three in the air. You can count it. And these teams are coming out hot. Grayson Whitaker. And on the other end, Salmons. Back to Spriggs. Spriggs fires the three and comes up short. Oh, but McGoffin County, Barnett and Whitaker fighting for it. It's out of bounds. It'll stay with Floyd Central. We've got a media timeout. Be right back. 10-9 McGoffin County. This is your Mount Sports Network. Dreaming of watching what you want, when you want, where you want? Stop dreaming and start streaming with Gearheart TV. Watch hundreds of choices on your favorite devices with the power of cloud DVR. Start over and replay TV. Personal profiles with parental controls. Free TV on demand. And TV everywhere to watch on mobile devices from anywhere. Gearheart TV makes your streaming dreams come true at great low rates. Get in touch now to sign up. Time out for great food. This season, everyone is stopping at Double Quick for their pregame and postgame snacks, drinks, sandwiches, and dinners. Come on in and grab a bucket of Double Quick chicken with all the sides, a real family meal for on-the-go eating. Then there's everyone's favorite, the famous Double Quick pizza rolls. Buy them one, two, or six at a time. We've got sandwiches galore, your favorite drinks, chips, and snacks, and so much more. Be sure and use your Double Quick rewards card, and good luck to all the teams from the team here at Double Quick. I'm Billy Johnson. I grew up in Eastern Kentucky. This is where I live. I know the people, the roads, and the court systems. I know car wrecks, and I know how to maximize your results. You're as likely to see me on my way to an accident scene with investigators as you are to find me in my office. I do what it takes to get the job done to maximize your results. If you've been injured, call me, Billy Johnson. Make it our fight. 
And welcome back here to Appalachian Wireless Arena. Had an action pack there first couple minutes, guys. Uh, McGoffin out to an early 10-9 lead. Well, we've got three-pointers on both sides. Uh, only had one uh, foul shot. That was the opening game. Uh, Barnett got the end one. Uh, battling on the boards from rebound. And we've got a uh, viewer. I've got to get this one in. Danetta Patrick rooting on the Hornets from Honolulu. Oh, wow. Wow. Here it comes in to Moore, Braden Moore. Ooh, crossover Ooh. broke him down <laughs> and lays it off the glass. Oh, no. Might have to pick some laundry up <laughs> off the floor on that one. Oh, no. 11 10. Floyd Central back in front. And, and Moore was a big miss for the Floyd Central in that first match. Oh, for I mean, sure. huge miss. Yes. Down low, Whitaker kicks it back out. They're driving the baseline. That's Salyers. Can't get nothing going, and they'll kick it back out to Barnett. I don't know if it was intentional, but it looked like they doubled Whitaker on the block there. Working around here is a three up, no good. Grayson Whitaker fight for the rebound, and a foul is going to be called. That's going to go against Grayson Whitaker. And Floyd Central will have it with the one point lead. 315 left first quarter. See if Floyd Central can get Ronnie Sammons going. Be, you know, get yeah. quiet so far. Him and Moore both. Well, yeah. Moore had the layup. There's Dylan Boyd, long three, count it. Ooh. Wow, good two looking for two. shots. And he got set, ready to fire. Quick as it yeah. hit his hands, he pulled the trigger on it, and it's a four-point lead, 14-10. Yeah, he hit 10 in a game, so he can get he can get going. Yes. Here's Barnett. Step back, free throw jumper up, no good. Goes to the floor, trying to get the foul, nothing doing. Rebound comes off the board. Spriggs kicks it in the corner. Great Braden pass. Moore for three, and it's going to come off. Rebound comes down to uh, Salyer, and Braden Moore tipped the pass but was rescued and put in by Grayson Whitaker. We're playing. We are going up tempo. And here is Buck quickly into the front court. Spriggs with it. 14-12, 18 left. First quarter. Here's Spriggs. Give it to Boyd. Brody Buck. Elbow jumper I'm telling, I'm telling you, man, he's taking his game to another level. Boy, he has picked it up for the last, uh, well, postseason yes, anyway. Yes, yes. Four for five from the field. That'll do her. 16-12, Floyd Central. I think uh, Coach Moore, uh, he don't have to worry about <laughs> no. uh, the atmosphere here <laughs> or them boys being uh, with wide open eyes. And, boy, Iverson here still. Barnett. For the three, comes up short. Rebound, that's Russell, puts it up and in. If you like points, you want to watch this game tonight. 16-14, yeah. shouldn't that be 17? When, when it's 16-12 and, and they hit the three? Or 14-12, uh, I mean, and they hit the three? I think. Did they call uh, Buck that a two? That was a two? Yeah. Oh, okay. And there's Sammons with the turnaround, no good. Rebound to Arnett, or excuse me, Barnett. Yeah, I mean, Floyd Central's got to be happy to be up by two, though, with Ronnie Sammons not having yeah. had a field goal yet. Here's Sal, you're working. Spriggs on him. Barnett. And a free throw jumper, no good. That was Grayson Whitaker. Rebound Floyd Central. Braden Moore, boy, he wanted to. Now oh. he's going to, and he's going to knock it down. Man, what a shot. He's two for two. 19-14. Took a little trip. Yeah, <laughs> he sure did. <laughs> Floyd Central's come out on a heater. Boy, I tell you, they are uh, hot. Here's Barnett just powering down low and puts it off the glass, and that's where he's got the advantage. Here's Ronnie Sammons on the other end, in and out. Rebound comes off to Barnett. Into the front court he comes. Going to hand it off, that's Whitaker. Grayson Whitaker. We got 14 seconds. They're going to work for the last shot. Three would tight. See if they find Barnett. He's down under the bucket. We got six seconds, five. And here's Salyer working around. And oh. air ball at the horn, Grayson Whitaker. Floyd Central with the three-point lead, 19-16 after one. We're going to send it back to the station. Be back for the second quarter. This is your Intermountain Sports Network. 
I'm attorney Philip Wheeler. Being injured on the job or in a car wreck is not a laughing matter. Medical bills, lost wages, and being unable to provide for those that you love can cause financial and emotional heartache for families. Let the attorneys at Wheeler & Baker use their 33 years of combined experience to help you in your time of need. Get the law firm that always puts working families first. How much bandwidth will satisfy your home's hunger? The average household now uses 16 wireless devices a day, including TVs, laptops, tablets, and smartphones. 4K streaming and gaming can use large amounts of data and slow down speeds for other users. The more devices you use, the more bandwidth your home needs. So make sure you have enough bandwidth. Get the faster speeds to meet your needs with up to one gig from Gearheart Fiber. 800-635-7052. Visit us at fiber.gearheart.com. And we're back here, 19 to 16, Larry. I, like you said, I don't think the coaches are too concerned. They're worried about coming out, you know, not feeling the nerves, 19 to 16, and both teams uh, shooting the ball really well. Yes. Floyd Central, you said three or four from three-point yes. line. Got Dawson Moore into the game now. He kicks it out to Buck in the lane, cut off. And steps through, and boy, that one just wow. about stuck. Falls into the hands of Barnett. Oh, what a pass. And just couldn't handle it, but uh, kicks it back out, and there's a three in and out. That one was uh, Salyer. You got to keep your eyes on a swivel with Barnett out yeah. there. He is. <laughs> He's making some good passes. And here's the drive. Dawson Moore handed Pass. Salmons up and there in. There he is. He's on the board. They needed to get him going. There he is. 21-16, Floyd Central. Sawyer in the front court with it for the Hornets. It'll come over. That's Grayson Whitaker. Down the lane to the bucket. Puts it up and in. Ethan Sawyer's got a nice screen at the Elbow and broke open down the lane. 21-18. Floyd sent to work, and here's Braden Moore kicking it. Salmon's free throw That's, jump his, that's his shot right yeah. there. That's a beautiful shot. And he's heating up. He's got the last four, 23-18. Yeah, that's dangerous when that starts going. Yes. Floyd Central's got a nice mid-range game. Yeah. They got a lot of players that can hit that. And here's a long three put up. No good. Rebound, Dylan Boyd. He's got five already. And quickly down court, here's Sammons kicking oh, it back whoa, out to Dawson whoa. Moore. A little back behind the pass, shovel pass, yeah. I guess you'd go. Dawson Moore now, he balances the floor, gets into the raw fence. He got three men down on the baseline. Here's Braden Moore breaking his man down, taking it to the bucket, knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay with Floyd Central. You know what I like about Floyd Central is you can tell they're a team that's played together a lot of years. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they know where they're going to be at. The, the chemistry is high. It's, it's a fun team to watch. Yeah. Walker Russell back in the lineup for McGoffin County. Here's Braden Moore, 15-foot baseline county. When they're hitting it, it's a tough train to stop, yeah. man. And it's easy for them right now. They're getting some good shots. Yeah. 25-18. Yeah, Braden, Braden three for three from the field. Now, they, they, uh, Floyd Central had what, a 115 point game earlier in the year? What was that? Guys? 107. 107. Yeah. 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 Here's Barnett. Salmon's on him. Spins to the bucket. Up and in. It's tough to guard. Yeah. He gets that deep. Yes. Well, I, I've got the feeling Barnett, uh, it's the first time we've seen him play this year, but from what we see, as Moore misses on the other end, Tries to get his teammates involved, but when they need the bucket, he said, I'm going to get it. Yeah. And he most time oh, he does. Wow, there he is. Wow. Down the lane. Mitches this one. Whew. Everything but the shot there. That was unbelievable. Dawson Moore into front court. Gives it to Braden Moore. Boyd with another rebound. Braden to the bucket. Has it blocked. It goes to Sammons. Puts it in. Right place, right time yep. for Ronnie. Johnny on the spot. 27-20. Back to a seven-point lead. Here's Arnett down the left side, spins at the goal and oh, puts it in. It looks like Barnett's starting to kind of to yeah. himself say, I want to take over a little bit here. Yeah, he's, he's not going to let him get too far behind. There's Moore, and back in the corner, Dawson Moore to pass a little off. He's able to control it, looking for help now. 
I thought that I, nobody said it, but I thought it might have been a double. I well, they the, the coaches yeah. on uh, McGoffin County's bench thought he doubled. Braden Moore, long three, no. And Dylan Boyd, oh, good hustle. a lot yeah, of good hustle, but uh, also a good play that time yeah, for Salyer. Salyer. On the other end, to the rack, puts it in. Wow, nice fast break. And that's number one, Noah Salmon's into the ball game. Uh, McGoffin's just going head-to-head uh, -head with them. I mean, 27-24, nobody's blinking. No. Spriggs with it. Works over Dawson Moore, back to Spriggs. Barnett on him, he stops, pops, Ooh. good. I, I'm telling you, that mid-range game for the Jaguars, yeah. they're all very comfortable taking that shot. 29-24, 340 left, quick moving first half. Here's Barnett down the lane, and I think uh, Braden Moore got a little piece of that one, but there was uh, Walker Russell there on the rebound, puts it up and in. Floyd Central on the other end, Dawson Moore driving, spins, kicks it over to Spriggs. Looking for a screen. He's going to get it. Didn't, nope. didn't really use it. He, no. uh, if he had an, uh, another couple dribbles, yeah. uh, the Salmon's might have uh, broke open. Yeah. Here's Spriggs top of the circle. Barnett on him. Taking it down the lane. Barnett reaches in, knocks it out of bounds. It's going to stay with Floyd Central. We have a media timeout. 301 left first half, 29-26. Both teams playing well. We'll be right back on your Inner Mountain Sports Network. Ashley Tackett Lafferty's record in Frankfurt is proof that we can count on her to defend traditional mountain values in working families. She votes to protect life, strengthen education, support first responders, and protect our Second Amendment. That's why she's been endorsed by teachers, coal miners, police officers, and the NRA. Ashley Tackett Lafferty is our trusted voice in the Kentucky House. Re-elect Ashley Tackett Lafferty. She fights for us. Forward pay at Appalachian Wireless. Why? How about no credit check, no contracts, and most of the features of postpay? The simple, easy way to stay connected. And right now, get $75 off select forward pay devices. Plans starting as low as $19.95 per month for unlimited talk and text. At 5 gig of data for only $29.99. 10 gig of data for only $39.99. How about unlimited data for only $64.99 per month with 25 gig of high speed data before slowing down? Forward pay because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. See AppalachianWireless.com for terms and conditions. Gearheart Security is here to give you some peace of mind with our smart home security system. With 24-7 monitoring and access to your home cameras and other smart devices for our customers. Find out more about our smart home security solutions at GearheartSecurity.com or give us a call for a custom quote at 1-800-264-1730. We also have financing options available. Families matter with Gearheart Security. And welcome back to Appalachian Wireless Arena here, guys. First round action of the boys' 15th region. Been a action-packed, fun first half to watch here. Yeah, this is what uh, both coaches want. I mean, they want this style of game. Yes. Uh, Barnett is, I mean, he, he, he's doing what he wants. And Floyd Central, it's kind of by committee. Everybody's kind of hitting shots. Uh, I'd like to see Boyd get another three-point attempt. He's hit the first two, but yes. he hadn't really got a good one. Uh, but credit McGoffin County's defense for making sure that he don't get one. Well, the two surprises right now is Buck with his offensive output yeah. and Dylan Boyd with his uh, uh, work on the boards. Yeah. Yes, he's got uh, six rebounds already. Yes, six rebounds, six points. Well, there's only two rebounds. Wow. And there's uh, Braden Moore, great inbounds pass, breaks open and yeah. reverse layup up and in. The ja Jaguars are just so tough, tough to guard because all five players can hit it from deep. Yeah. They're, they all can stretch the floor. Well, we talked in the pregame, you know, there might not be a whole lot of rebounds in this game, and that's about the way it's working out right now. And there's going to be a foul call. Dawson Moore, I think, is going to pick it up. That's going to send Walker Russell to the free throw line. Let's see where he's uh, done there for the year. He's a 75% free throw shooter. Only the second and third free throws of the... Florida Central has shot one no, yet, hasn't he? No, Got number three in for McGoffin County. That's Reed Meadows. Yes, Reed Meadows making his first pair. And that's about as deep as they'll go. And misses them both. 75% wow. three-pole shooter. 
Here's Braden Moore on the end of them. Fires the three. Count it. <laughs> you, get, I mean, you let him uh, shoot in rhythm like that, yeah. uh, he well, will well, knock him down. Again, think about that. That was off a missed shot within five seconds, a three-pointer. That's, that's unbelievable. Air. Unbelievable. I mean, that's the that's the way they play. In the blink of an eye, that can be up by 10. Yep. Well, it's eight points right now. I think Barnett's going to go all the way to the goal. Yeah, I think he's going to take it. And fires it up, comes up short. Rebound comes off. That's Brody Buck with it amongst three Hornets. And down the floor, and Salmon puts it in. And Coach Castle said, we need timeout. 156 left, and Floyd Simpson's blowed out to a 10-point lead. We'll just stay right here with Matt Watts, our old buddy from down in South Carolina said he just got through watching the Betsy Lane McGoffin County game. What a battle. I'm glad he's tuned into this, and we got another yes. brewing right here, Matt. Yeah, and then, and also, uh, uh, didn't mean to interrupt you no, there, uh, Justin, but we've got a viewer, uh, Ben Tara Moore, says Braden Moore, Floyd Central number three, is Dr. Don's great nephew. Oh, well, there you yeah. go. Said Dr. Don would have loved it. Yeah, tribute, oh, to doctor, sure. tribute to old Dr. Don. Wall to wall basketball. Yeah. Uh, ben is his dad. He's on the bench right here. And uh, Mom Tara, I know she's over there. But uh, Braden putting on a show so far. He's two for three from the three point line and four for five from Absolutely. two point land. So yeah. He's on 12 one. 12 points? Yeah, he's on one. 30, yeah. 36 26. Uh, the Jags have just come out firing tonight. Yeah. I and mean, Allen, Coach oh, Moore's got to be thrilled. They must be shooting 75% right uh, yeah. now from Definitely. the field. Here's the Hornets working around, trying to go down in. That's Whitaker with it. Zane Whitaker, he's got Salmon's on him. Now they'll work it back outside. Barnett takes it down against Buck and might have got away with an elbow there. Miss it, gets his own shot, puts it back in. Man, he's working for those points right now. Yeah, he is. Here's Salmon's on the other end. Gives it over to Spriggs. Spriggs cut off on the drive, gives it to Braden Moore, fires the three. And... That one was contested, and he come up with the air ball on the other end. Oh, my And goodness. here he is. Ooh. Collision. Bodies on the floor, yeah. ball out of bounds. That's Spriggs and Barnett, and it's going to stay with the Hornets. Barnett's just a bowling ball going down the he lane is. there. Boy, I tell you, when he decides to put throw in gear, it's he gone in the Yeah. yeah. And the only thing that you got to worry about uh, with Barnett being out of control and getting another charge, I, I think, because his body, he's just so much stronger. Ooh. And there's yeah. Whitaker, and he's going to get the, the uh, charge call. Yeah. yeah. I thought Barnett should have got the other one. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> and uh, but Brody Buck, he's not a very good actor. He's not going to fall like that unless somebody knocks him down. No. And he puts his body out there. Him and uh, Boyd both here have kind of stepped up defensively. They took a couple charges down there in the yes. district tournament as well. Well, we've seen bodies on the floor the whole tournament, yeah. boys and girls. Absolutely. So. Laying it out right here on the line at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. Here's Braden Moore with it. Kicks it back out to Buck over to Boyd. Yeah, Boyd can't get loose anymore. No. I think they got the memo. Here's Spriggs. Good patience by Floyd Central. Definitely. Braden Moore spins to the baseline. Great pass. Kicks it back out. Brody Buck, three. No good. Rebound comes off Barnett. Long pass up. Court that Zane Whitaker to the rim, shot no good, and he'll go to the line for two as Dylan Boyd's going to pick up the blocking foul. Yeah, I think Boyd tried to slide under him. James Justice says some of the best ball movement he's ever seen in high school by Floyd Central. Yeah. It has been good ball movement. It, it really has. has. Yeah, that last possession took 30 seconds. That's probably an eternity for for them, you know, on the offensive end. They might have not have had a 30-second position yeah. the whole season. Yeah. Zane Whitaker at the line, and he on the season is 70%. They missed first one there. Three so they've got a 75-percenter and a 70% free throw shooter. It's 0-3 right now. Yeah. Big for McGoffin to second. See, you, see it go through the net here maybe before halftime just to yeah. get a little something going positive for him. J.D. Mead watching out of Lexington. Yeah. 
Here's had a lane Sprig. there, but you don't want to take it that early. Well, you know? it's right. six seconds now. Now you got to go. Here's right, Salmon. That's six, that's opens a, up to the bucket wow. end. That's a great And that's going to take us to the end of the first half. 38-29. Floyd Central over McGoffin County. And what a first half we had. Both teams, not just one, both teams. Absolutely. So we'll take a break and be back shortly with some halftime stats and comments is here with the Mount Sports Network. Jennifer Burke Elliott, attorney at law, is here to assist you with all your legal needs. From car wrecks to family law to general wills and deeds, she can help you sort through your legal issues. Jennifer has practiced law for over 30 years and is ready, willing, and able to guide you through the process. Jennifer Burke Elliott is located at 107 South Arnold Avenue in Prestonsburg, Kentucky, inside the historic Harkins Building. Call 886-9937 to set up your appointment. Appalachian Wireless Forward Pay. If you want to connect with no credit check, no contracts, and most features of postpaid, we're talking about Forward Pay. This month, get $75 off select prepaid devices. Forward Pay, because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Time out for great food. This season, everyone is stopping at Double Quick for their pregame and postgame snacks, drinks, sandwiches, and dinners. Come on in and grab a bucket of Double Quick chicken with all the sides, a real family meal for on-the-go eating. Then there's everyone's favorite, the famous Double Quick pizza rolls. Buy them one, two, or six at a time. We've got sandwiches galore, your favorite drinks, chips, and snacks, and so much more. Be sure and use your Double Quick rewards card, and good luck to all the teams from the team here at Double Quick. Acceleration. It's what you experience with the exhilarating speeds and excellent reliability of Ultra X Internet and Total Wi Fi from Gearheart Broadband. Contact Gearheart Broadband to upgrade today. I'm attorney Philip Wheeler. Being injured on the job or in a car wreck is not a laughing matter. Medical bills, lost wages, and being unable to provide for those that you love can cause financial and emotional heartache for families. Let the attorneys at Wheeler & Baker use their 33 years of combined experience to help you in your time of need. Get the law firm that always puts working families first. How much bandwidth will satisfy your home's hunger? The average household now uses 16 wireless devices a day, including TVs, laptops, tablets, and smartphones. 4K streaming and gaming can use large amounts of data and slow down speeds for other users. The more devices you use, the more bandwidth your home needs. So make sure you have enough bandwidth. Get the faster speeds to meet your needs with up to one gig from Gearheart Fiber. 800-635-7052. Visit us at fiber.gearheart.com. Ashley Tackett Lafferty's record in Frankfurt is proof that we can count on her to defend traditional mountain values in working families. She votes to protect life, strengthen education, support first responders, and protect our Second Amendment. That's why she's been endorsed by teachers, coal miners, police officers, and the NRA. Ashley Tackett Lafferty is our trusted voice in the Kentucky House. Re-elect Ashley Tackett Lafferty. She fights for us. Gearheart Security is here to give you some peace of mind with our smart home security system. With 24-7 monitoring and access to your home cameras and other smart devices for our customers. Find out more about our smart home security solutions at gearheartsecurity.com or give us a call for a custom quote at 1-800-264-1730. We also have financing options available. Families matter with Gearheart Security. Are you looking to buy or sell a home in Eastern Kentucky? Look no further. When it comes to real estate, there's only one name you need to remember, Remax Legacy Group. In 2023, we achieved outstanding results. On average, we sold over one house per day. That's right, one house per day. And guess what? According to our local MLS, our listing sold an average of 34 days faster than others. With three offices located in Eastern Kentucky, we proudly serve the entire area. When you see the Remax sign, make sure it's the Legacy Group. My addiction took me as far as being homeless, not having anything. I was breathing, but I was not living. If you would ask anyone around, they would tell you that they don't know that person from those pictures in active addiction. I'm completely content with my life today. I see happiness. I see the blessings of life.
I'm Billy Johnson, and I've spent my career representing injured people. I've never represented insurance companies, large corporations, or special interests. I've never run for or held public office. Injuries are serious matters. Your attorney should not have distractions or conflicts. My only business is representing injured people. If you've been injured, call me, Billy Johnson. Make it our fight. It's a place you know. It's people you trust. It's welcoming, like a friend. It's a place of volunteers. A place of givers, movers, and shakers. Friday night lights and Saturday yard sales. It's the original social network. It's your community, and we're proud to be a part of it. Community Trust Bank, building communities built on trust. Welcome back to the Appalachian Wireless Arena. We're at the halftime of the night's first game, McGoffin County and Floyd Central. And Floyd Central enjoying the nine-point lead here at the half, 38-29. And uh, Justin's got some first-half uh, stats for us, and both teams shooting it excellent right now. Yeah, McGoffin County shooting 13 for 23 from the field, only one for six from the three-point line. Uh, Barnett, he's got 13 points, and he's got four rebounds as well. Five points for Grayson Whitaker, three points for Zane Whitaker, and four points for Walker Russell, two points for Ethan Salyer, and two for Noah Sammons. And they were two for five from the free throw line. I've only got three turnovers on them. I've only got one on Floyd Central. It was a really clean game as far as that. And uh, two of those turnovers were on charges. Right. So, I mean, they've not, you know, neither team, which nobody's been in full court pressure or anything like that to try to turn anybody over. So, um, for Floyd Central, they were 17 for 27 from the field and four for seven from the three-point line. Led in scoring Braden Moore with 14 points. Ronnie Sammons with eight, two for Chris Briggs, eight for Brody Buck, and six for Dylan Boyd. Dylan Boyd with six rebounds. Brody Buck with three. I've got Dawson Moore. I, Assist kind of, uh, I don't get those a lot of times as when I should, uh, but I do have three for Dawson Moore. He made a couple, he made the inbounds pass there, and he made a couple of good uh, passes up the floor, so I did pick up on those. And the good thing if you're uh, Floyd Central, you're shooting a really good percentage, but you got Brody Buck is four for six, uh, Ronnie Sammons is four for five, and uh, Braden Moore is six for nine. So, I mean, you're talking uh, – that, that's the kind of percentage you want to shoot if you think you're going to make it into the uh, to the next round here, survive and advance. And, you know, on the flip side, um, Aiden Barnett, he is – he is six for eight from the two-point line, and he missed his only three-pointer that he took. And, and when's the last time that you uh, had a game of this caliber that uh, – he had a, a total of 21 rebounds in the first half. Yeah, and credit both of them right here. Nobody too. missed them. No, nobody. There's no opportunities to get any rebounds there. I think Burke's going to try to grab uh, Coach Moore here. He's going to have to get him a little drink of yeah, water. Yeah, I'm going to let him get a little drink here. Let him refresh up a little bit, then we'll talk to him. Let's get a little drink there, Coach. Tell us about that first half. you got to be happy about your team's performance. Yeah, yeah, we shot the ball extremely well the first half, and I hope it carries over the second half. Uh, I think as long as we keep running with the ball and playing the exciting basketball the way we play, I think we'll be good. Uh, we got to do something with Barney. Man, he's strong. He, he just he wheels his way to the basket, and if he misses it, he still gets his rebound. So he's he's tough guard for us. What's the team uh, has been saying in there in halftime? Uh, play the same way we played the first half. Don't don't. Don't hesitate, just play. No, no thinking, just go play. All right, good best of luck, coach. Thank you. All right, guys, back up to you all. All right, thank you, Bert. 38-29 at the half, Floyd Central over McGoffin County. And we'll have Pike County Central, Johnson Central following this one. So we're going to take a break, and when we return, we'll get the second half started right here on the Intermountain Sports Network. It's a place you know. It's people you trust. It's welcoming, like a friend. It's a place of volunteers, a place of givers, movers, and shakers. Friday night lights 
and Saturday Yard Sales. It's the original social network. It's your community, and we're proud to be a part of it. Community Trust Bank, building communities built on trust. Gearheart Security is here to give you some peace of mind with our smart home security system. With 24-7 monitoring and access to your home cameras and other smart devices for our customers. Find out more about our smart home security solutions at gearheartsecurity.com or give us a call for a custom quote at 1-800-264-1730. We also have financing options available. Families matter with Gearheart Security. Jennifer Burke Elliott, attorney at law, is here to assist you with all your legal needs. From car wrecks to family law to general wills and deeds, she can help you sort through your legal issues. Jennifer has practiced law for over 30 years and is ready, willing, and able to guide you through the process. Jennifer Burke Elliott is located at 107 South Arnold Avenue in Prestonsburg, Kentucky, inside the historic Harkins Building. Call 886-9937 to set up your appointment. Hello, I'm Brandon Spencer, candidate for state representative in the 95th District in Floyd and Pike Counties. I want to congratulate all the teams for making it to the tournament. Teamwork is what it will take to win a championship. And teamwork is what I will bring as your next representative by working with Representative Blanton and McCool, along with our great Congressman, Hal Rogers. With your vote and support, our team can change Pike and Floyd Counties. I am Brandon Spencer, and I paid for this ad. Are you looking to buy or sell a home in Eastern Kentucky? Look no further. When it comes to real estate, there's only one name you need to remember, Remax Legacy Group. In 2023, we achieved outstanding results. On average, we sold over one house per day. That's right, one house per day. And guess what? According to our local MLS, our listing sold an average of 34 days faster than others. With three offices located in Eastern Kentucky, we proudly serve the entire area. When you see the REMAX sign, make sure it's the Legacy Group. I'm Billy Johnson, and I've spent my career representing injured people. I've never represented insurance companies, large corporations, or special interests. I've never run for or held public office. Injuries are serious matters. Your attorney should not have distractions or conflicts. My only business is representing injured people. If you've been injured, call me, Billy Johnson. Make it air fight. Time out for great food. This season, everyone is stopping at Double Quick for their pregame and postgame snacks, drinks, sandwiches, and dinners. Come on in and grab a bucket of Double Quick chicken with all the sides, a real family meal for on-the-go eating. Then there's everyone's favorite, the famous Double Quick pizza rolls. Buy them one, two, or six at a time. We've got sandwiches galore, your favorite drinks, chips, and snacks, and so much more. Be sure and use your Double Quick rewards card, and good luck to all the teams from the team here at Double Quick. My addiction took me as far as being homeless, not having anything. I was breathing, but I was not living. If you would ask anyone around, they would tell you that they don't know that person from those pictures in active addiction. I'm completely content with my life today. I see happiness. I see the blessings of life. Acceleration. It's what you experience with the exhilarating speeds and excellent reliability of Ultra X Internet and total Wi-Fi from Gearheart Broadband. Contact Gearheart Broadband to upgrade today. Jennifer Burke Elliott, attorney at law, is here to assist you with all your legal needs. From car wrecks to family law to general wills and deeds, she can help you sort through your legal issues. Jennifer has practiced law for over 30 years and is ready, willing, and able to guide you through the process. Jennifer Burke Elliott is located at 107 South Arnold Avenue in Prestonsburg, Kentucky, inside the historic Harkins Building. Call 886-9937 to set up your appointment. And we're back here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. Second half action, 38 to 29, Floyd Central on top. And both teams, I, I thought, were real comfortable on the floor. Yes. Um, if you're Coach Moore, I mean, he said it down there, but, you know, what do you do with Barnett? Because if you could have shut Barnett down, and I, nobody's shutting him down, but if you could limit his 
paint touches a little bit more. I don't know if you bring a double or what you do there, but uh, you could have this thing out to a really nice lead here. You're up nine, uh, but you just feel like Barnett's getting anything he wants whenever he wants it. Well, and another thing too, when's the last time you can remember we played a game here in the tournament or even in the regular season that you didn't see either team put full court pressure on? That's yeah. true. And, that that, true. and that's just respect that both of the coaches has for yeah. their opponent coach. They know the ball handling and the quickness. So I don't know yeah. if uh, full court press would hurt either one of these teams. Yeah, and again, you've got three turno four turnovers total for the game. Yes. And I think that's a credit to um, uh, the ball handling and just like you said earlier, the senior leadership. Ryan out Johnson here. watching out of Louisville. That's my man. That's my neighbor up there. Old golf holler used to be my neighbor. I don't live in Louisville. Yeah. <laughs> You're making long drives here <laughs> yeah. this game. And here's a steal. Spriggs throws it out in front. Braden Moore to Buck to their goal in. And Floyd Central opens up with the fast break bucket on a turnover. And that's their largest lead up 11, 40 29. Here's Barnett on the other end. Works over to Sayers. Here's Russell with it now. Back to Sayer, down low. That's Whitaker. Sayer fakes three. Oh, yeah, it's close yeah. to And here's a little runner down the lane. No good. Whitaker, rebound, put back up and in by Walker Russell. And Russell's worked the boards good tonight. Yeah, Quickly he... on the other end. Con and uh, Boyd, no. Boy, he was open for three. Yeah, he was. That's his first good look in a while, too. Here's Barnett, and here's an open three, and you can count it. Well, Ethan Salyer. Good start to the half for the Hornets. And these te two teams picking up where they left off. Absolutely. Yeah. That halftime break didn't cool them down at all. Might have heated McGoffin up a little bit, it looks like. That's a 5-0 run, and it's down to a six-point lead. Dylan Boyd with it on the drive to the bucket. Shot up and blocked. That's good. Out of bounds by Russell. It's yep. going to stay with Floyd Good Central. block by Russell. Good defense. Both district tournament games, if you remember, Larry Spriggs had a big second half. Yes. And see if he can get going offensively a little bit. Here's Buck with it. Puts it on the floor. Barnett guarding him. Here's Spriggs. And... Driving the lane, Ooh, I think he it up to Buck and yeah. hits knocked loose, picked up by McGoffin County in the corner, three in the air. Whitaker comes up short again. Russell, Russell, putting it up and in. Walker Russell working the boards and McGoffin County on a 7-0 run got that 11-point lead down to four. Wow, flurry coming out of this second half for the Hornets. 32nd yeah. timeout, Floyd Central. And I think that's what can happen here. Uh, McGoffin County is not going to go away. Right. And Floyd Central is going to shoot quick shots. If you can get the rebound, if they're not making those, and go down and convert, you know, that's uh, Walker Russell. Uh, he's on a 4-0 offensive rebound run here. He is. You know? Yeah, he's played really good to yeah. start this half. Well, they're on, in that 7-0 run, they had uh, a three off a turnover. And four points off and uh, second chance points on offensive rebound. Yeah. Yeah, like you all said, this is, these are two teams that a deficit can close quick with both of these teams. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Here's Spriggs with it. 40-36. Lloyd Simpson with the lead. Spriggs on the drive to the goal. Puts it up and in. Good shot. A good little hesitation dribble and was able to get in front of Grayson Whitaker for the layup. 42-36. Both these teams has got players that can break the other team down. Yes. Here's Barnett. Braden Moore on him. Barnett raises up, fires a three. Counts. Wow. Wow. And here's the steal. And it's Russell shot no good, and he'll go to the line for two. What did Russell take at halftime? I mean, he's come out here, and he yeah. has just been on it. Comes up a little bit gimpy on that one. 
He's really led this charge, though, for the Hornets. Yes. He's, he's four for four from the field. He's the only underclassman that starts for them. They start four seniors, and Russell, he's a sophomore, misses the free throw. He missed his last two as well. But he took a good fall on that one. Yeah, he, he did. 75% from the line. He's over three. Gets one now, one of four for the night. And it's a two-point game, 42-40. Well, I can share, guys, you want many people to watch this one can be because it's going to be a heck of a finish. Not only that, they'll be eligible for the $25 Walmart gift card and the 4K fire stick. Here's Braden Moore. Salmons. There's Spriggs. Gets the screen. And free throw line jumper. Good. Fake the pass to Buck. Seen that he was open and Spriggs on the 4-0 run. 14 or 44-40. Into the corner. Three in the air. Knocks it down. Number 10, Ethan Salyer. And McGough County back to one. Braden Moore in the spin cycle up. No good. Wow. Draws the foul. What a spin move, though. Yeah. Yeah, the Hornets have come out on fire this quarter. Yeah, Salyer has got two three-pointers. They've hit three threes already. Had one in the first half. Yeah. Braden Moore, he'll get two from the foul line. I think you can tell that might have been a halftime emphasis for Coach Castle was to drive and kick out yes. to the three. Braden, 80% from the foul line. He made that first one, didn't he? Yes. Okay. He's 80. Ronnie Salmon's 80. The other three starters are 77. That's the first two free throws Floyd Central's taken of the game. Go one wow. two. Split a pair, it's a two-point game, and here's a little three-quarter court pressure. Here's Zane Whitaker, back to Barnett. Down the lane, he'll go, takes it to the rim, puts it up and in. Tie game, just like that. Barnett, when he takes the notion to drive yeah. it, just like playing in the backyard. It is. It's tough. You're either going to foul him or he's going to score. Here's Buck into the corner, back out, hit a go to Spriggs. We're tied at 45. Just Barnett, he looks like a 25-year-old playing amongst 17 yeah. and 18-year-olds. And here's a near steal. Dylan Boyd rescued it, gives it back out to Spriggs. Spriggs looking for a screen. That's Grayson Whitaker. And takes it away from him, Barnett. On the move, just going to beat everybody down the floor. And it's good foul. Boyd it was. reaches in, makes sure that he don't score and a one, but he'll go to the line for two. And it'll be interesting to see what he shoots from the line. Yeah, not a bad foul at all, like you said, just make him earn it at yeah. least. He's only 82% from the line. Yeah, and he's so strong. That's an and one, you know what I mean, a lot of times. Yes. Of course, uh, that's one thing uh, Dylan Boyd. Uh, He's got about the same size body as he's got. And Barnett, 82% free throw shooter misses. Yeah, that's obviously a good foul. Yeah, he, he ended, ended up being a good point. foul. Yeah. yeah. 331 on the clock. Third quarter. Barnett's second one good. And we've got a media timeout. 331 left. 46-45, McGoffin County with the lead. It's been a while since they've had it. Absolutely. And Floyd Central have the basketball trying to take the lead back when we return on the Intermountain Sports Network. I'm Billy Johnson. I grew up in Eastern Kentucky. This is where I live. I know the people, the roads, and the court systems. I know car wrecks, and I know how to maximize your results. You're as likely to see me on my way to an accident scene with investigators as you are to find me in my office. I do what it takes to get the job done to maximize your results. If you've been injured, call me, Billy Johnson. Make it our fight. How much bandwidth will satisfy your home's hunger? The average household now uses 16 wireless devices a day, including TVs, laptops, tablets, and smartphones. 4K streaming and gaming can use large amounts of data and slow down speeds for other users. The more devices you use, the more bandwidth your home needs. So make sure you have enough bandwidth. Get the faster speeds to meet your needs with up to one gig from Gearheart Fiber. 800-635-7052. Visit us at fiber.gearheart.com. 
Hello, I'm Brandon Spencer, candidate for state representative in the 95th district in Floyd and Pike counties. I want to congratulate all the teams for making it to the tournament. Teamwork is what it will take to win a championship. And teamwork is what I will bring as your next representative by working with Representative Blanton and McCool, along with our great Congressman, Hal Rogers. With your vote and support, our team can change Pike and Floyd counties. I am Brandon Spencer, and I paid for this ad. We're back here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena, 46 to 45, McGoffin County out to a one point lead. Been a while, Larry, since they've been on top. It has been. Nine point advantage at halftime. And they've done it uh, behind the three point line, actually. They've knocked three down so far here in this quarter. Only had one in the first half, but offensive rebounds yeah. and points off turnovers. Well, you think they've got four points off uh, offensive rebounds and three threes. That's a, that's a nice recipe. Yes, it is. Here's Buck with it. Barnett on him. Let's see what kind of answer Floyd Central's got for him. The defensive Spriggs. intensity has picked up a lot. It has. Just a little bit. Dawson Moore into the game now. He takes it down the lane, throws it in, no good, gets his own rebound, and it's going to be a foul. Thought they was going to call a jump ball, but they're going to get number 14. That's Zane Whitaker on the foul. And both these teams don't go super deep on the bench either. A lot of these players have been playing all night. Yeah. Yeah, Floyd well, they, both six. of them goes about seven deep. Yeah. yeah. I know uh, McGoffin County, they had seven players that had, scored, uh, that had played 30 games, and then the next man had played eight. Yeah. So that pretty well says, you know, what their rotation is. And we saw all seven of those players in the first half. Here's Spriggs with it for Floyd Central. Floyd Central being patient. 240 here on the clock, third quarter. They trail by one. Salmon's. Fires the three, county. Don't see that very often for Ronnie Sanders, no. but no, but he's capable, absolutely. Well, he just showed. Yep. He just showed. He just he showed capable. how capable. Yeah. Little yeah. full court pressure here, Floyd Central. Here's Barnett, eight foot in the lane, no, battling for the rebound. Oh wow! And wow. Still battling for it. He comes wow. up with it. How did he come up with that? Throws it up, three pointer in the air, no good for Whitaker. McGuffey County with another rebound. Here's Barnett down the lane, wow. puts it up and in. Wow. Yeah, Hornets are dominating the glass right now. Yeah. 48 all. Brody Buck on the other end. Spins against Barnett. Barnett knocks it loose, takes it. On the other end, a little shake and bake. Now he fires it into the corner. When he does that, you're going, somebody's going to have to try to take that charge because when he gets going... And here's behind the three-point line. College puts it in. Wow. What? I mean, yeah, like you said, Larry, that's a college three. And 51-48, timeout. Floyd Central, it's going to be a full. McGoffin County by three, 137 left, third quarter. We'll be right back. This is your Intermount Sports Network. Are you looking to buy or sell a home in Eastern Kentucky? Look no further. When it comes to real estate, there's only one name you need to remember, REMAX Legacy Group. In 2023, we achieved outstanding results. On average, we sold over one house per day. That's right, one house per day. And guess what? According to our local MLS, our listing sold an average of 34 days faster than others. With three offices located in Eastern Kentucky, we proudly serve the entire area. When you see the REMAX sign, make sure it's the Legacy Group. My addiction I took me as far as being homeless, not having anything. I was breathing, but I was not living. If you would ask anyone around, they would tell you that they don't know that person from those pictures and active addiction. I'm completely content with my life today. I see happiness. I see the blessings of life. And welcome back here at Appalachian Wireless Arena. We're about to go into the fourth quarter here. Been action packed, guys. Well, Gulf County's came out here on fire here in this third quarter. They've got the three point lead. They've outscored Floyd Central by 12. Here's Dawson Moore, Ronnie Sammons, Spriggs getting it back. And Braden Moore comes up short. Buck with the rebound, putting it back in. There's Buck right there. I mean, he is all hustle. Yeah. 
51-50. Here's Barnett down low, and nice defense that time. Oh, calling the kick ball. Mm. I didn't see it, but who, who kicked it? I don't. I didn't see Moore it. Moore come up with it. Uh, yeah. That might have been why he came up with it, maybe. But I don't. Somebody I else must it. have kicked it to him. It wasn't Moore. Yeah. Now they work around Barnett. We're under a minute to go here, third quarter. Yeah, break there from McGoffin County, though, because that was stolen by Ooh, Floyd Central. A little so. zone by Floyd Central here. Here's Barnett. That'll keep Barnett out of the pain, I think. And a three, no good. Good blocks at that time by Braden Moore comes up with the rebound. Into the front court, he'll come. Still on the move down the lane, and it's going to draw the foul. Who they going to give it to? It I think maybe Salyer. Yeah. Yes, Salyer. Ethan Sawyer, and that'll put Braden Moore to the line for two. Give them a chance to go back on top. Right. Give them a chance to go back on top. You're right. 32 seconds left. 51-50. Scoring's picked up now. Yeah. So we're in for a good one. I, this is what I thought. Moore's free throw up and good. Got a comment. says Buck is the momentum for Floyd Central. I agree. Yeah. I, he, he really gets the team going. And Moore makes them both. Floyd Central back on top, 52-51. Big possession here. Barnett, it might not leave his hands. Floyd Central gets the possession arrow to start the fourth quarter, so. We're at 19 seconds. McGough County working for the last shot. Yeah, Floyd Central in that zone right here. Now I bet it won't leave up Barnett's hands. Yeah, eight seconds to go. Looking for a screen. Oh, and. Throws the shoulder in, fires the shot, no good. And we'll go to the fourth quarter, 52-51, Floyd Central. Yeah. I'm Ashley Tackett Lafferty, and for the last four years, I've worked hard to deliver millions of dollars in funding for Floyd and Pike counties. I've fought hard as your representative to bring good jobs back to our prison and wheelwright to finally complete the 680 connector between Minnie and Harold, and to four-lane the Mountain Parkway through Prestonsburg. My voting record in Frankfurt proves that you can count on me to defend our traditional mountain values and protect our working families in Eastern Kentucky. I care about the future of our families, and I'll never quit on Eastern Kentucky. Re-elect Ashley Tackett Lafferty. She fights for us. Fifty-two to fifty-one, Floyd Central back out on top. McGoffin County down nine at halftime. Come back, take a three-point lead. Floyd Central answers, takes the lead back, and I got a feeling we're going to be within about a four to five-point range here on either side the rest of the way. I think so. I, I, I agree. Got one player right now in foul trouble. That would be uh, Dylan Boyd for Floyd Central. He's got three. Yeah, he's been set in a while. Jaguars will have it start this fourth quarter. They have the lead 52-51. McGoffin County briefly took the lead, but uh, Floyd Central was able to gain it back, but they cut eight points off of it, and here's another foul. That's going to go on Ethan Salyer. And I'll tell you. That's going to be his third. I think this might be the best crowd of the tournament so far, too. Oh, no, no doubt. Least, yeah. That's because all the Centrals is playing. Pike Central, Floyd yeah. Central, and Johnson Central. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They loaded that bottom bracket up. Salmon's three, no. High up for the rebound. That's Russell. Uh, Russell, Walker Russell. On the other end, three in the air, comes up short. And Spriggs runs it down in the corner, gets it over to Salmon's. Back to Spriggs. They Run got numbers. The into the front court, over to Buck, 15-foot baseline county. Brody Buck's been on his game tonight. He has. He's been on fire. He's got that shot down pat. Back out to a three-point lead for Floyd Sanders. Buck with 14 points. 
And he's only missed one shot all night, or two and shots. Floyd Central now in a 2-3 zone. Here's Zane Whitaker. Works it back out on top to Salyer. Barnett gets it, foul line. Spins in the lane, puts it in. Yeah, yeah, that's a tough one to, sh uh, to yeah. stop right there. <laughs> well, they go that 2-3 zone and they post him up there in the middle of it. He, that's, yeah. uh, he could have a big game. Yeah. You got to make somebody else beat you from the three-point line. Here's Spriggs, works around over Dawson Moore. But Salyer's had a big game out there, though. Moore down the lane to the bucket, and Whitaker meets him there and smacks it away. On the other end, coming over to Barnett, stops, fires the three. No. Battle for the rebound down low, and wow. McGoffin kind of comes up with it. Walker Zane Russell. Whitaker. Zane. Walker Russell again. Boy, He's, I tell you, he is working yeah, the board. He's got he has. four offensive rebounds. The Hornets have been very good on the board tonight. And there's Barnett. Kicks it back out on top. That's Grayson Whitaker. In the corner, Barnett. What a pass. There's Russell. Three. What a second half from Russell. Man. He's done it all. He's yeah. done a little bit of everything. Dolphin County back by one, 55 54. Here's Braden Moore, knocked loose, picked up. And then so oh, oh, wow. into the corner, Moore, Dawson Moore, three, K. Oh, and wow. listen to this place. What a change. Yeah. And action's picking up a little bit, folks. On the other end, here's Grayson Whitaker, knocked loose, comes up with it, gives it to Barnett. 57, 55. Here's Russell, Russell again, I, in the other corner. My goodness. Walker Russell is smoking hot right now. Left corner, right corner. One point lead, 58, 57. We have a timeout. It is going to be a full timeout. We'll be right back on your in Mountain Sports Network. I'm attorney Philip Wheeler. Being injured on the job or in a car wreck is not a laughing matter. Medical bills, lost wages, and being unable to provide for those that you love can cause financial and emotional heartache for families. Let the attorneys at Wheeler & Baker use their 33 years of combined experience to help you in your time of need. Get the law firm that always puts working families first. It's got all the Thanks. momentum, you know? And we're back here, 58 to 57. Uh, I was looking at the stats here. Walker Russell is six for six from the field, two for two from the three-point line. He's got the uh, uh, McGoffin County faithful fired up over here. And he came time. in averaging eight points a game yeah. and shooting at 30% from the three-point line. Yeah, I got 14 points. So Listen, I mean, we talk about Barnett all night, but if the Hornets were to hold on and win, he might be looking at the Jennifer Burke Elliott player of the game, Russell. Yeah. He's yeah. got no uh, doubt. three offensive rebounds this half. He's probably, uh, he had some rebounds the first half. He's yeah. probably got he's, five or six. He's got he? six. Yeah. He's he's looking for a double-double. Yeah. Spriggs into the front court. Floyd Central down one. Gets it over to Sammons. Braden Moore back to Sammons. Moore set back three. No good. And it's all McGough County under the board. Whitaker comes off with it. Now he'll hand off to Grayson Whitaker. Now Barnett will take it. It's like back to man to man for Floyd Central. Here's Barnett to the bucket. And wow. going to be an and one. Wow. Tough, tough train to stop once it gets going down the lane. He goes downhill. It's, uh, he's uh, tough to hang with. This will be his second and one attempt. Free throws in. And McGoffin County out to a four-point lead, 61-57. Not seeing the ball movement that we saw in the no. first half from Floyd Central. Here's Spriggs driving it into the lane, knocked loose, and was able to come up with it, and it's off Spriggs going to yeah. McGoffin County. Boy, I tell you, they're letting them play down. They're letting them yeah. play down there. I mean, it's scrappy. Yeah. Four-point lead, biggest lead for McGoffin County. And they got the ball here. And here's Barnett. And another player on the floor called the block and another and one. And Mr. Barnett's taking over. Yeah. I'm not sure that about the and one, but it was definitely a foul. Yeah. But six-point lead. 
Lloyd Central on the ropes here. Yeah, they sure are. They sure are. But Barnett, I mean, he's got 31. He's taking over. 31. Yeah. And it seems like they've all been here in the third and fourth quarter. Uh -huh. yeah. He's made his last, uh, well, he missed that three-point attempt, but he's probably made his last uh, six from two-point. And, and the good thing for Floyd, uh, Floyd Central is they can score in a hurry. Yeah. So they can close this deficit quick, but they've got to start now. He completes the three-point play that leads out to seven, 64-57. We've got four minutes left. Salmon's top to circle three, no. And Buck high for the rebound, wow. puts it up. And, and one. one. Wow. Ooh. Brody Buck skying for that one. And he's got the, uh, the MO, you go up yeah. with both hands and come down with it in this game. Yep. Yeah, you got to. Brody Buck is just everywhere on that court. Sixty-four fifty-nine, make it sixty-four sixty. And in a game like this, points at the free throw line are at definitely at a premium. Oh yeah, and and they've not been that many. Uh, no, uh, I just look at McGoffin County shot eleven, Floyd Central shot five, and all those has been uh, fouls caught on the shot. Yeah, N neither team got close to having five. Uh, we've got two each right now with three forty-two go. Here's Zane Whitaker with it. Looking for help, Salmon's on him. And Braden Moore knocked it out of bounds and had to get us to the media timeout. 3.33 left, 64-60, McGoffin County. Don't go away, folks. This one's nowhere close to being over right no. here on the Intermountain Sports Network. Jennifer Burke Elliott, attorney at law, is here to assist you with all your legal needs. From car wrecks to family law to general wills and deeds, she can help you sort through your legal issues. Jennifer has practiced law for over 30 years and is ready, willing, and able to guide you through the process. Jennifer Burke Elliott is located at 107 South Arnold Avenue in Prestonsburg, Kentucky, inside the historic Harkins Building. Call 886-9937 to set up your appointment. Gearheart Security is here to give you some peace of mind with our smart home security system. With 24-7 monitoring and access to your home cameras and other smart devices, our customers. Find out more about our smart home security solutions at gearheartsecurity.com or give us a call for a custom quote at 1-800-264-1730. We also have financing options available. Families matter with Gearheart Security. Hey. Sixty-four to sixty, McGoffin County out by four, and it's kind of been the Aid Barnett show here in the second half oh, of the no third doubt. quarter. Yes. No doubt. Well, Walker Russell as well, though. I, I yep. can't leave him out. He's hit some big shots and big rebounds. Yeah. Well, R Russell actually is one got him started. I think he was the catalyst to this run that they've had here in this second half. And want to congratulate Stephanie McKinney. She's the winner. Off the $25 Walmart gift card here in the night's first game. And if you're watching, going to be watching the second game. There'll be one giving away the second game. And also, the 4K fire stick will be given away in the second half of the second game. Yeah, I was just looking here. Braden Moore's only got two points here in the second half. And after 14 in the first half, so... Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, you just like I said earlier, you, you've not seen the ball movement out of Floyd Central no. here in the second half. And part of that is uh, McGough County's turned the defense up some. They have. Here's Barnett with it. Spriggs on him. Barnett down the lane and puts it up and in. Wow, that's, that's a lot of contact. It is a lot of contact. Yeah. For not, you know, no call at all. Yeah. Now on the other end, here's Moore, and he's going to be fouled on the drive. I think that's going to go on Salyer, and that's going to be four on his him. fourth. Yes. Dylan Boyd back in the lineup for Floyd Central. Big possession here for Floyd Central. And there's Buck, and it's blocked by Whitaker. Zane Whitaker with the block gets it over to Barnett. Driving it up the floor, down to the rim, and nice hesitation oh. move, misses the shot. 
Battling for wow. it, and Braden Moore comes out with it. He's on the run into the front court. Dylan Boyd back to Braden. Let's get Dylan Boyd. And here's Moore, turn around, and That's comes a up tough short. Shot. And what a hustle by Sammons kicks it out to Spriggs, no good. Zane Whitaker comes off with it. And Oops. Buck's gonna be called for the foul on Barnett. Yeah, it looks like a little bit of a frustration foul there. Yeah. Jags just haven't been able to get anything easy. Like you all said, the Hornets have ratcheted it up defensively. Yeah, they have. Here's Barnett with you. Spriggs on him, getting it over. That's Salyer. Barnett to the goal. Kicked it back out. Down the lane, off the glass, no good. Battle for the rebound. Spriggs couldn't control it, throws it back in. It'll come to McGoffin County. Barnett, when he gets doubled, he has such good vision to kick it out to his other teammates. Yeah. And you wonder if that comes from football playing quarterback, too, son. We're at two minutes. And Floyd Central trying to turn the pressure up. They've only got three team fouls. And here's the number four. That's Spriggs trying to knock it loose on a drive by Barnett. McGoffin County will keep it with the six-point lead, 66-60. Yeah, it's going to come down to defense here. Jags are going to have to get some defense uh, to turn into offense. Here's Salyer with it. And that's going to be the fifth foul. That's going to be on Braden Moore. Ethan Salyer will go to the line. Salyer is 69% free throw shooter. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And he makes the first. Sixty-seven, sixty-one, fifty left. Gets them both. Big free throws. Yeah, and that's our lead. largest lead. Eight points. Braden Moore, and knocked out of bounds by Salyer. It's going to stay with the Jaguars. Everything's at McGoffin County when they started on this little run here. Their defensive intensity has just picked up tremendously. Yes. And Floyd Central has not got anything easy. No doubt about it. Here's Moore with it. Cut off on the drive. Still got his dribble. Comes out to Spriggs. Spriggs down the left side stops. Kicks it back to Sammons. The free throw line jumper good. Roddy Sammons. Boy, they needed that. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while since they'd seen one go through the the net, and we've got a timeout. Freud Central hits a 30-second timeout. 68-62. What do you do, Justin? Well, you got a uh, foul here. I mean, it's six-point game. You can turn up the defense here, maybe go for a 10-second call, but you got to go for anything you can. Uh, try to get a jump ball, but you know, McGoffin County's got the arrow. Uh, 128 to go. Down six, you, you're going to have to have mm -hmm. some things go your way here to get back in this game. Yes. Maybe try to trap him if you can't get the yeah. steal, then go for the foul there. Yeah, I, I would try to go for the 10-second call. I think you still got enough time to try that, but you got to get a turnover. You're going to have to have some help here uh, and, to get yourself back in it. And if possible, you got to keep it out of Barnett's hands. I don't know if that's possible or not, but that's what you got to try yeah. to do. Yeah, that's uh, very difficult to do. McGoffin County have it out the timeout. And here's Salyer looking to throw it in, and it comes into Barnett. He's double teamed and gets it down the court and throws that's, it away. That's that, exactly what you needed. That'll help. Barnett's lucky to get away with yeah. one there, I thought. Yeah. Well, he, yeah. he, not only that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah a lot of them, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one, he extended yeah. that hand pretty far out there. And from behind. They're yeah. letting him get away with that. Letting them roll it up the floor here. This is, if you can get a quick one, exactly what you needed. Here's Sammons. Free throw line jumper off the glass. No good. Battle for the rebound. Buck with it. Yeah, Braden Moore, three. No, goes Ooh. up short. And they're going to be a foul on the rebound. 
Walker Russell. Russell was going to go to the line, and who did he get the foul on? Number 24, Spriggs. Well, Floyd Central couldn't have asked for a much better look right there. Well, they no. had their chance, but they're yep. still not out of it. They're not. Now, you got uh, Sammons from 15 and Braden with a wide open look from the three point line. The, yeah. Russell. 75%. Makes them both. Not missed a shot, has he? No, he missed his first three free throws, is the only thing he does wow. wrong tonight. He's made his last two. He turned on another gear at halftime. He did. And those are the kind of things you got to have to win these games. Yes. And McGoffin County's wanting the timeout. It's going to be a 30. 70 62, 107 left. Floyd Central's going to have to get some points quickly and then come up with some turnovers. Ton of time, though. Ton of time left for, for yeah. an offense like Floyd Central. We've yeah. got a viewer who won't know if he'd come up to the cameraman if he'd buy him a hot dog. <laughs> Mr. Jeffrey Robinson. That's Brady Robinson, Dad. He bought us a few hot dogs uh, <laughs> himself when we'd go cover some of the Betsy Lane games. And we've got it all breaking down now, boys. We got Johnny Cash on, yeah. the, on the PA. And, and just a reminder to everybody watching, we'll have a post-game interview with the winning coach and the Jennifer Burke Elliott player of the game as well. I think we'll I know right. the player of the yeah, game. I think, uh, yeah, I think, yeah. Here's Floyd Sinan taken away from Spriggs, Barnett. And then Spriggs reaches in. And if Barnett goes the line and knocks these two down, that might put the cap on it. Yeah. You hear about Barnett's offensive proudness, but now he showed up on the defensive end he here has. tonight, too. He has. He's played real physical. That's five fouls on Spriggs. Dawson Moore will come in for him. Been a while since McGoffin County been here. And Barnett misses the free throw. Fifty-six point six seconds. All it's left. Barnett's second one good. Three possession game. They've turned it around. They trailed nine at the half. They lead by nine now. And there's more to the bucket. Putting it up and in. And Floyd Central will have a timeout. It's going to be a full timeout. We'll stay right here with it. Just got forty-nine seconds left. And. Justin, you got uh, Floyd Central's only got one timeout, and that you know, 49 seconds to go, 37, or I mean, a uh, seven point lead. It's going to take a, uh, it's going to take a miracle to to kind of get yourself back in this one. So, um, I, you got to turn them over. You can't wait. Uh, you got to pick up the foul. I mean, you got to go fast here. Uh, and if you foul somebody, maybe not try to foul Barnett. Yeah, well, he missed his last one, so or he won out of two Split the last one, time. Yeah. But uh, but the odds is not. A, uh, no, no, that's <laughs> not the guy you want to send to the line right. here. Um, I mean, he's kind of put McGoffin County on his back, and you know uh, Walker Russell chipped in uh, a hefty second half here, and between those two, I don't keep it by quarter, but. I, I, I would imagine between Barnett and Russell, they've probably got 85% of the points here in the second half oh, between no the two of them. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't remember the last time uh, either Whitaker scored. Uh, Salyers hit a couple threes there. And here's Whitaker. And Ronnie Sammons will send him the line. That's Zane Whitaker. Must have bumped knees. Whitaker went down and Sammons uh, limping a little bit. Let's see what Zane uh, Whitaker has done from the foul line. He's one for two tonight. Seventy-one percent for the season. And this one drops in. 
72 64 48 seconds left and he splits a pair also on the other end salmon's down the lane shot up and can't get it to roll but he got the foul on whitaker that would have been a nice one to see that yes, one be an yeah. and one Only six seconds off the clock from when uh, they shot on the other end, so yeah, you that's a go. plus also. Well, and the big thing is you get a score with the clock stop. Yes. Because, you know, anytime you score now and Floyd Central doesn't call timeout, that clock just keeps running. Salmon's free throw up and good. That's his first free throw attempt. 72-65. Sammons with 16 points, make it 17 now. And here's McGoffin County with it inbounds, got a foul. And there's a lot of time coming off the clock. Yeah. Finally, Salmon comes up with the foul, and he's going to send Grayson Whitaker to the line. Grayson Whitaker, and that's the man might, uh, you might need to be a foul, and he's only 56% for oh, the yeah. line. Yeah, he's not been to the line tonight. First one's up and looked like a 100% free throw yeah. shooter on that one. Looked like a dandy. 73-66. I would have another good one coming up uh, following this one, Johnson Central, Pike Central. And gets them both. That might have been a misprint on those. Yes. Here's Braden Moore. Rises up from the three-point line. No good. Battle for the rebound. Gets his own rebound. And it's blocked down low Russell, but he's going to be called for the foul. They got Russell listed at 5'11". He plays a lot taller than that. Yeah, he does. His aggressiveness, and I think he's got some long arms down there. He's active. Braden Moore will be to the line with 28 seconds left. Lord Central trailing by eight. He'll have two. And gets them both. Gets both of them. 74, 67. And immediately a foul. And again, they're going to send Grayson Whitaker to the line. Now, if his percentages works out, he'll miss both of these. Yes, that's right. Let's see. 56% on the season. 25 seconds left. McGoffin County so far has been able to. Uh, They're 15 for 21 so far. Well, so. That's, that's, they're holding uh, Floyd Central off from the foul line. And makes this one three of three. Floyd Central has only missed one free throw. Uh, just not been there very much. They're eight for nine. And gets them both. He's bringing that percentage up. Here on the other end, Brody Buck, three, no. And rebound comes off to Salyer, and Salyer's fouled, and that'll do it. 76-68, Salyer at the line for two. And it's been a battle tonight. It has. It's been a, the score is not going to be indicative of uh, how tight the game was. Right, and good sportsmanship. There's Sammons and Barnett standing over, uh, patting each other on the back, smiles on their faces, and that's what you like to see. You lay it all yeah. on the floor, but uh, when it all comes down to it, it's a game. Yeah, yep. and, you know, good respect from both of those. Yes. I'm sure both great players. Yes. Exactly. Sayers makes them both. 10 point lead, 78 68. Braden Moore fires the three, comes up short, and that's going to do it. Floyd Central is going to let him run the clock out as Whitaker are bringing him to the front court. And it's going to be a 78 68 win for Magoffa County. They'll move on to the semifinals. That will happen Saturday evening right here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. So see if Burt can come up with the uh, winning coach and our 
Jennifer Burke Elliott, player of the game, is going to be Aiden Barnett. Yes, 35 points, six rebounds, two for four from the three-point line, and he only missed three shots from the two-point line. He made so many, it's hard to add them all up. And also, Walker Russell made a run at that, uh, oh, at that player of the game also. Yeah, he was six for six from the field. Yeah, guys, let me grab the coach and player of the game here, trying to let him get through the handshake line here. Eight WPRC player of the game. Tell us about that for uh, game tonight. You know, we went into half down 10, nine, something like that. Missed a couple free throws. We knew what we had to do in the locker room. We had to win with transition. Braden, Braden was killing us in the first half. We can't. We kept giving up open three after open three, and we finally settled down in the second half. Got out, rebounded, ran on transition. When we run in transition, we're hard to stop. So I mean, been a long time since y'all been here. How awesome is it to move on to the next round? I've been here seven years, and I ain't never been here. So it feels great. I knew once we got here, I would perform, and we would do this, and hope we make a run to Rupp. That's what my goal's been every year: get to Rupp. I don't. The points per game, all that stuff, that's cool and all, but bro, that's what I want to do. Well, Aiden, congratulations, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Aiden Barnett, player of the game, man. See if Burke can uh, get uh, Coach Castle. Uh, Justin, what time he's getting Coach Castle? Go ahead and uh, give us some uh, numbers. Yeah, I've got uh, McGoffin County figured up here. Uh, Aiden Barnett, 35 points. Six rebounds, again, two for four from the three-point line, and I think he was three, five, seven, nine. Okay, yeah, we got Burke there. Go ahead, uh, We got Coach Castle with us here. Coach, tell us about that win tonight. Well, I mean, you know, these kids played their hearts out the second half, down 10 at halftime. You know, we didn't we didn't follow what, what we talked about pregame. We discussed it. Thankfully, they listened at halftime. We come out and played great basketball. Moving on to the next round, Coach, what does that mean to McGoffin County? You know, it, it's been a long time since we've been here. It's one game, you know, one game at a time for us. And, uh, you know, hopefully we're, we're lucky enough to advance to that regional. Best of luck moving forward. Right, thank you. All right, guys, back to you all. All right, thank you, Burke and Justin. Uh, you got all those yeah. numbers figured up? Yeah, we got uh, for McGoffin County real quick, 35 points for Hayden Barnett. Nine points for Grayson Whitaker, four for Zane Whitaker, Walker Russell. I mean, Barnett's the player of the game, but now Russell was the uh, kind of the sowing the the seeds there. I mean, he he played so big there in the second half. Well, had, I think they're there in the third quarter when they started the run and got the lead. He's rebounds, one that got yeah. it started. Uh, yeah, he had four at halftime. He had 13 points in the second half and probably five of his seven rebounds in the second half as well. So, well, they're, and their first seven points of the uh, third quarter was two offensive putbacks by Russell and yeah. a three-point shot by Barnett. And uh, after yeah. that, they were just on a roll. Yeah, uh, Ethan Salyer with 12 and Noah Sammons with two. They were 19 for 25 from the free throw line. So that, that's how you close the game out. Yes. That, that's what it takes. Yes. And uh, for Floyd Central, 19 points for Braden Moore, 15 for Ronnie Sammons, six for Chris Briggs, Brody Buck with 17, Dylan Boyd with six, and Dawson Moore with three. And they were nine for 10 from the free throw line. And uh, just not a lot of rebounds there for Floyd Central, which uh, McGoffin didn't miss a lot of shots to give you a chance to get a rebound. You're exactly uh, right. But Dylan Boyd had six rebounds. Braden Moore had five. Um, real quick, I'll add up. The, the three-point line killed Floyd Central in the first half. They were four for seven in the first half, and they ended the game... Gosh, uh, six for 19. Six for 19. So, well, I mean, yeah. just not falling. As, the as shots hot as he was the first yeah. half, that's yes. how cold he was the second half. Before, yeah. before we uh, uh, take a break and get ready for our second game, uh, you had Dawson Moore, yeah. uh, Braden Moore, Ronnie Sammons, and Brody Buck, seniors for Floyd Central, and just like to send out our congratulations to them for the career that they've had uh, during their uh, playing time there at Floyd Central. We've yes. enjoyed seeing them. We got to cover them a lot and some of the better players uh, here in the uh, 15th region, but just like it always is, you know, comes tournament time, you win and move on, you lose and you go home. That's and right. uh, that's what it is. So 
if you like this one, what time we're getting transitioned over to the second game, get you a cold drink and maybe a snack. Get back in that easy chair and kick back. We've got Johnson Central, Pike Central, and this is going to be another good one right here on the Intermountain Sports Network.